Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly, and, um, well, I don't know. I don't really know what to think of this reading yet. We'll get into it as we go. <clears throat> the first reading you have here is Urus, and uh, the first thing that I felt when I touched Urus is not so much of a missed opportunity, but more of uh, feeling exhausted. Okay, so many of you are feeling very exhausted. <clears throat> and also, uh, you're worried about a missed opportunity. Uh, you are, you're, you're worried about something, you know, something to do uh, most likely with your money or something, Pisces. Um, <clears throat> you have Barack over here in reverse. And this is uh, some sort of a, a new beginning, you know, but it's blocked. And it's blocked because of something. Probably blocked because of lack of money. I'm surprised I didn't see Nathis here, but I feel it's a lacking of something. It doesn't necessarily have to be money. <clears throat> um, and then you have... Uh, Jera right here. This is a uh, balance, you know, having to balance things. That's what another reason why I felt that, you know, uh, it could be uh, money and bills, having to balance, you know, have it, you know, miss one bill for one month, <clears throat> pay another bill, you know, just kind of stuff like that. Um, uh, but, you know, um, and it's, you know, and this is the, this is Pertho here. This is like the, uh, um, <clears throat> this is a couple of things. This is a, an unhealthy uh, obsession of something from the past. So we need to let that go. <clears throat> Just let go of the, the negative things from the past. Also, this is, <clears throat> Excuse me, Pisces. This is uh, um, I'm surprised that this isn't in reverse because I'm having a heck of a time, you know, communicating for some reason. But this is also like uh, you know an uh, an unpleasant realization of this. <clears throat> so you know, and I kind of feel that. A lot of us have been very, very uh, unhappy, but we've been keeping it to ourselves and not really uh, talking about it. Um, yeah. But then we have uh, um, Othala. Now, Othala is something to do with the family, all right? <clears throat> now, with Othala in the upright, it's pretty positive. Um, it can mean a few things. It can mean um, that you're spending time with a family member or, <clears throat> you know, you're, you've are you contacted a family member or a family member is contacting you or something. You know, I'm kind of thinking that because I see um, the Eight of Wands here and this is kind of like fast-moving energy and it's also uh, communication, okay? So you might, you might be receiving some sort of message from sort of, sort of uh, family member. And see so you have the, the King of Swords here. You know, this could be an air sign. This could be, you know, like a, I'm thinking uh, Aquarius. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. <clears throat> All right. Um, and I feel that, you know, like I said, you've been feeling really unhappy and you've been keeping it to yourself because you know, you feel like you've been left in the cold. And actually, you know, Pisces, you really you really have been left in the cold. You've just been left out of everything. And it's made you really sad. So you have Wang Yu right here. It's not only made you sad, it's made you feel extremely vulnerable. Right here with uh, Elhaz in reverse. <clears throat> All right. So, but things are changing here, Pisces. You have the death rune right here. <clears throat> this is uh, 
Awas. This is talking about, you know, this is talking about the end of one cycle and the beginning of another. This is the death. Something's ending. Hopefully it's all this garbage, all right? <laughs> because, you know, I feel you, Pisces. I'm there with you. You know, and I, I pulled this uh, particular card here, the rainbow. This is a really good one. <clears throat> and, uh, let's see. This is a good card. It says, the rainbow tells you that the end of the storm is near. Persevere and remember that the darkest is the darkest it is darkest just before the dawn do not give up hope things are about to take a positive turn listen to the morning rooster that announces the coming of the dawn even while the night is still darkest <clears throat> but do not claim victory yet or yet your or let your guard down fully all right <clears throat> so don't let your guard down fully and I see that here with El has. So don't, you know, this is also saying to, uh, you know, to be defensive. Okay, don't let your guard down yet. All right. Now, um, <clears throat> like I say, with Wang Yu here, this is some sort of uh, celebration and happiness. Uh, Okay, and I see some sort of, uh, uh, you know, communication here. It's, it could be like some sort of reconciliation or some sort of, uh, um, uh, <clears throat> I'm thinking it could be some sort of a reconciliation um, or some sort of celebration, but it's going to make you happy, Pisces. All right. All right, Pisces, and see, I'm going to get one of these angel cards, see what else is going on. I don't know, I'd, <clears throat> I I kind of want to get more information. These are really nice cards. I think they're really pretty. The artist that did these really did a good job. All right. I'm here with Pisces. Transformation. <clears throat> so this is very positive, Pisces. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, it's an uncomfortable transformation for sure. But, um, you know, Awas here is, is talking about transformation as well. <clears throat> and I want to read exactly what transformation says here in the book. <clears throat> Here. Sorry about that, you guys. I'll try to get it as fast as I can. Here we go. <clears throat> you are ready to move beyond energies or situations that no longer help, that are no longer helpful to you, and to make space for your life for something more purposeful. You may feel the real need for clearing out at this time, <clears throat> not just physically, but mentally and spiritually too. As you remove the clutter and debris <clears throat> from your world, you welcome in the energy of transformation. Like a butterfly emerging from its cocoon, you are ready to move beyond the previous limitations of your life. You are moving away from stagnicity or the feeling of being held back <clears throat> and are taking the heavy energies of your life and making them light so that you can fully embrace who you were born to be. Wow. That's pretty deep. <laughs> that is pretty deep. I like that there, Pisces. So yeah. So it, it looks it looks better than yesterday, that's for sure. It definitely does. 
So anyway, I hope you enjoyed your reading. And uh, if you haven't already, you guys, uh, please like, share, and subscribe, all right? All right, Pisces, I'll see you again uh, tomorrow. All right, bye for now, Pisces.